Today we're going to show you guys how to install the PlayStation 3 6-axis controller in Windows Vista 64-bit SP2. This isn't for SP1 Vista, this isn't for 32-bit Vista, this isn't for XP, Windows 98, Millennia Edition, Windows 2000, Windows 3.1, or any other OS that Microsoft makes but Windows Vista 64-bit SP2. So with that in mind, also, I highly recommend you hit this little button and type in backup, click on backup and restore, and click backup computer and do that first. I'm not responsible if you break your shit. Okay, now that we got that all covered, let's go on with the installation. The first thing we need to do is open up Internet Explorer, Firefox, Opera, whatever the hell, Safari, whatever you got. Open the Internet Browser up. Once the Internet Browser is open, we're going to navigate to a website called motionenjoy.com slash download. I'll have all these links and the more info to the right of this post. Once there, scroll down. The current version is 3.0. We want to click this one, the 64 bits for Windows. Site 1, save, put it wherever the hell you want. I don't care, as long as you remember where it's at, because we're going to need it for the next step. Now, here's another thing to keep on mind. Today is October 21st, 2009. Everything as of today is working fine. The Windows Vista installation here I'm working on has been freshly installed off the CD and are running current updates that are up to par for October 21st. Other than that, this is a clean slate. Nothing's ever been done to this installation I'm, I'm showing you this on. Okay, so we got that. Now, um, basically, it's going to be uh, this file right there. Um, this zip file. You want to open that up, drag and drop that, hit yes, over to where somewhere you can remember where it's at. And we'll get rid of that. Okay, it looks like this PS3 controller. Pretty cool thing. Empty my recycle bin. I like to keep everything nice and tidy. All right. So once we have that downloaded, there's only one more step to do. Now, I kind of did this before I started the video. It's a habit I have when I install Vista. Uh, you go start orb, uh, control panel, user accounts, turn user account control on or off. Make sure that's unchecked. Turn that crap off. Um, it probably won't work unless that's turned off. So make sure that's off. And hit OK. And then you can reboot. So do that. Click on restart, window shuts down, kind of a standard thing here. As Windows comes back up, you're going to have to start hitting F8. We want to get to that safe mode uh, screen where you can select different things. Alright, once we're here, we've got to select the last option. Disable driver signature enforcement. That sounds really scary but you need to click on that. So hit enter. Windows Vista 64-bit uh, Service Pack 2. Remember, you shouldn't be using any other freaking OS other than what I just said, or this doesn't really pertain to you. We'll start loading up. Okay, we're back at our desktop. Now, this is the specific part that is needed to have this work, this Motion Enjoy 3.0 work with Vista 64-bit SP2. Now, supposedly, I don't know because I haven't tried it, but from what I've read, this worked fine in SP1, and this should work fine in Windows 7 without doing anything else. I have no idea about XP. Don't even ask. Same with 98 and 3.1. Don't ask. Okay, so what we have to do is we get some files from Windows 7. So the way we do that is there's this uh, upload here I found. MegaUpload.com has it. Um, click on the link to the right there to download it. Once the web page loads, it'll look something like this. Um, it's going to be a driver.rir. It's a 239.05 KB file. It has two system 32-bit driver files in there. So type in the code there, download it. CGX3, download file. Uh, you'll get this option here, uh, and you have to wait to specified time. Once the time's expired, regular download. Get some spam in the background, close that out, save it, put it wherever the heck you want, make sure you remember where it's at. Okay, once you have that, you just need to open up the RAR file, and you'll get two files in there. 
um, WDF01000.sys and WDFLDR.sys. Now we can't just throw these into the folder and have it work. We actually have to give some permission. So right click the orb, explore all users. Since this is the default layout, I have to adjust a few things here. Click on Windows. You go down to the bottom. System 32. Open that up. You go find drivers. Now in here, you hit W. Goes down to the bottom. Here's the two files right here. Uh, we can't dump the uh, our other two files that we have in there right away. We have to change some permissions. So follow along closely and try to keep up here. We right click. Go to Properties. You go over to Security. You go down here to well, if you look here, Administrator. Not we don't have full control. And that's what we need to do. So we go down to advanced. You click over here to owner. Right now it's trusted installer. Well, we need it to say us. So we hit edit. We hit administrators. You hit apply. Blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Hit OK. Boom. Current owner, administrators. Hit OK. You hit OK. Um, you back out of this once. You go back forward. You go back to the same file. Right click properties. You go to security. You go down to edit. You click on administrator. Oh, look, now we can go full control. Apply, yes, okay, okay. That's pretty much it. We have to repeat this process for that. So properties, security, advanced, owner, edit, administrator, apply, okay, okay. Administrator's current owner, okay, okay. Back out, back in, right click, properties, security, edit, left click administrators, full control apply yes okay okay that's it that's all you have to do to get those to where you can basically do this copy both or highlight however you want i just like to drag and drop move and replace wdf 1000 sys move and replace wdf ldr dot sys that's it done pretty simple now you guessed it we have to reboot again so restart your computer shutting down or restarting for the uh, second time here when it comes up yep you guessed it F8 again so you get the safe mode screen all right and back down to disable driver signature enforcement dun -dun -dun -dun. Click that, hit that enter, whatever you got to do, get that going, and wait till Vista 64-bit SP2, that's what you're running, right, is loaded up and back to your start bar. Okay, you're back at your desktop now. You got to remember, turn off your PS3, the one right there, that's where mine's at, turn yours off on the back. Here, let me show you, because if you don't turn it off and you start effing with your controller, it's going to turn on the PS3 and not going to work. See the switch right here? Yeah, make sure the O is down. Got that O down. Okay? All right. I got that settled. <clears throat> Back to the computer here. We're basically going to just plug in the PS3 controller. USB PS3 controller, kind of a standard thing. If I can get this damn thing in there. There we go. You'll see installing device driver software and device driver software successfully installed USB human interface device. <laughs> okay, so we got that installed. Now we take our funky little Motion Enjoy 3.0. Oh, don't. You gotta right click that and hit run as administrator. Left click run, hit next, next, next. I don't like a quick launch, De create desktop icon, okay, pick whatever you want there. Next, install. Finished install. You'll get a DS3 tool thing here. Do not click that. Do not click that. We do not need to click that now. Okay, and guess what we got to do again? You guessed it, another reboot. Restart. Now, this is the third time we're rebooting, and you guys can probably guess what we're going to have to do when Windows starts to come back up. That's right. Keep hitting F8. Now your PS3 controller should still be plugged in. I didn't tell you to unplug that. So no confusion there. F8, 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 F8. All right, and back down to disable driver signature enforcement. Boom! Let Vista load up. 